The NLP communication model, this is also known as epistemology, it's how we know what we know. And effectively it works like this, we have input uh, through our five senses, through our sense of taste, touch, smell, hearing, sight. Uh, VACOG, we call it VACOG in NLP for visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory smells and gustatory tastes. The information comes in, it goes through neurological filters, neurological processes, cortical projections if you like, into what we call first access, which is our experience of the world, how I'm experiencing, for example, this room right now. First access is largely unfiltered. There are F1 filters, but it's largely unfiltered apart from neurological processes, and it represents our experience. It's simply what we sense and how we represent it initially as experience. Then that experience passes through what we call F2 filters. These filters are made up of deletions, distortions, generalizations, and various other things. For example, our life experience, language itself is a filter. Uh, meta programs, which are natural preferences that we tend to have, all of these filters act upon this experience and it comes to an area in NLP, in the communication model, that we call the linguistic map. And this is where we assign language to give our experience meaning. From the linguistic map, this then passes through further F2 filters um, and then comes out in terms of the spoken word or behavior. So in other words, the flow is the input comes in through our five senses. We get an experience of the outside world, first access. It goes through F2 filters, which is heavily filtered with deletions, distortions, generalizations. We then form a linguistic map. We attach language to give that experience meaning. And then through further F2 filters until it's the spoken word or our behavior. So let's just take a brief look at what these filters are, the F2 filters. It's Reckon that there are about 2 million bits of information that come into us every single second. Now, if we were to process all of that information, we'd go into overwhelm, overload. We wouldn't be able to function. So we naturally filter out what is not necessary for us to be consciously aware of. So this is, for example, how two people can go on holiday together. Later, they talk about that holiday, and it's as if they're talking about two completely different things because they have filtered it differently. They have deleted different things, distorted different things, and generalized different things. If you look at the PDF, which comes with this particular uh, module and this particular topic, you'll see a detailed description of the types of deletions, distortions, and generalizations that we tend to actually uh, to, to filter to have in these F2 filters. So the spoken word or behavior side of our, our being, so to speak, has been heavily filtered from the original input. It's a, if you imagine a VHS tape, for example, here's the original recording, and then it goes through various filters, and each time it gets degraded and degraded, there's less and less information. At this first access experience stage, this is deep structure. This contains all the information. At the output stage, this is surface structure. This has been heavily deleted, heavily distorted, and heavily generalized. And this information, if you like, is very, very thin. By asking certain questions, for example, using the meta model, we can begin to work our way back up this model to reveal the nature of the F2 filters, the deletions, distortions, and generalizations, with a view to getting back to original choice and opening up a person's map of the world. The NLP communication model.